So what are you doing? Relaxing. Oh, <laughs> no, I seriously think I'm stuck. Okay, I can't get down. You made a terrible, <laughs> terrible mistake. <laughs> if I move one leg, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> Wait, I got it, I got it. Good job. Thank you. Good work, very impressive. Oh, what the fuck? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Melissa and I are getting some work done here back in our tiny home living space at the far back end of our pole barn. Melissa, what is it that we are working on here today? Well, Jeremy, we are going to be turning this tiny house into a tiny home. Oh, I can't wait. How are we making that happen, Melissa? Today we are installing the front door on our tiny home, which will separate the barn area from the living area. Yeah, looking forward to getting this done. We get a big mess, you know, every day we come in here and every time we get a breeze that blows through the pole bar, we end up with a bunch of animal hair and Melissa's hair and uh, dirt, fur. dirt and dust and everything else that blows back here. So to get this front entry exit doorway installed is a kind of a big deal for us. Yeah, and really it also just kind of actually makes it a home. It's got a front door, it's totally separate space and it just is going to look more like a living space. So that means a lot for me. I'm really excited about that. All right, let's hope this goes well. Let's get to work. Let's do this. Yeah, is this going to go smooth? Oh, super smooth, just like it did with the interior door. Same thing. We're just going to plug this thing in there. We'll slap some shims in. Screw, screw, screw. 20 minutes. Nice. I bet you could throw the shims just like a ninja. Maybe perfect. Probably. At this point, yeah, with all the uh, expertise and experience that I've gained in the past couple months, for sure. For sure. Easy peasy. Don't you worry about it. All right. All right, before we get going with uh, getting this front door installed, I thought we'd take a second and we'll allow Melissa to explain to all of you why it is that we selected this particular door and the, the functionality of it and, and why exactly we made the decision to go with this particular door. Melissa, without further ado, go ahead. Uh, oh, okay, uh, so it's a door. It's got a window. It swings open this way. It's got some hinges and uh, it's got some nice beveled rectangular designs here. <laughs> It, what it opens, else do the fine people? It closes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can knock on it. <laughs> you explain the door. <laughs> no, okay. So despite a great, great explanation from Melissa, thank you for that, Mama. You're welcome. Um, here's what we end up going with. So this is a fiberglass door. It is designed to be set within a four-inch wall. Our front wall is a four-inch wall. Um, all the other walls are actually six-inch walls. So this is the one exception. We had our reasons for doing that. Anyway. We wanted to make sure that it had a glass front to allow as much natural light in as possible. We do not have any other windows or anything like that set within our front wall. So this was a big deal. This is also double pane glass, so it should keep all of the warm air in or cold air in, depending on what season it is you're talking about. So yep. uh, pretty straightforward design. Again, hopefully this is a very easy installation. Let's see how it goes. Like I said, it opens and shuts and it's a door. Let's get it on. <laughs> Melissa, what are we working on today as far as uh, snacks go in your snack belt since I know we don't have any tools in there because, you know, that's not what we do here. Uh, that's not entirely true. I have my safety glasses, which I won't be needing today. Mm -hmm. 
So, so yeah, what are we doing yeah. for uh, food? What I have is uh, Kellogg's Original Rice Krispie Treats. Individually packaged. They taste nothing like Mama makes, but they fit perfectly inside all of these multiple little pockets. Beautiful. All right, you ready to get to work? I am. Let's do it. All right, welcome to the interior of our living space here. Melissa, unfortunately, got stuck on the outside once we got our door set within the rough opening. She's snacking on her rice crispy treats. She'll be fine. Uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to go around and get this entire door shimmed. In order to help do that, we actually got a brand new laser level that was gifted to us uh, for my birthday, actually. So we're incredibly grateful for that. But we'll go around and make sure that we have a nice even gap all the way around this door before getting everything secured with some screws. And once that's done, we will then go through, make sure that everything opens and shuts just as it should. Melissa's out there with her Rice Krispie Treats, loving life right now. <gasps> Melissa, I miss you so much, Mama. I miss you so much. Life behind the glass. Okay, don't do that. It's a brand new door. Melissa, ooh, is that a heart? Love you. This is why I married her, folks. Look at how beautiful she is. Look at that. Okay, so we have our hinge side of the door perfectly plumb. We toss some additional shims on the uh, latch side of the door. So because I'm not able to go outside and get everything screwed in and secured, what we're gonna end up having to do is climbing out one of our exterior windows. I will run around, I will meet Melissa, and we will drive our screws in that way before running back in here and get everything checked off to make sure that we did a, a good job. I'll see you in a second, Mama. The perfect summer is over in a flash and you're on Somebody near It's open for tonight It's not too late My mind says yes You've been here for quite some time But my heart tells me You should stay to help with this part, so, or at least take over this part. Jeremy tends to muscle stuff. He doesn't have a lot of no, finesse. okay, this is the trade-off. Melissa says she felt as though she really didn't contribute all that much when it came to installing the door, which is maybe a little true. So, instead, she's gonna be doing all the hardware, and like she was saying, I have a tendency to muscle these things into place, and sometimes cause damage. Oh, wait, are you 
finally admitting that you are the one that caused the chisel damage on the interior door? So Melissa is gonna be working on the hardware here and I'm gonna be providing her with some guidance along the way. Let's see how she does, shall we? Are you gonna review all of the directions or you want me to kind of tell you what to no, do? No, I want you to time? tell me and then I'll do it on camera like I already know. <laughs> what was that? Wait, were you recording? <laughs> <laughs> Turn it <Okay. that> off! <laughs> <laughs> All right, as we recover from that very candid moment, giving you a little insight into how our uh, YouTube production usually goes around here. Melissa, we are gonna be working on the actual lash itself as a first. So you wanna grab that and then I will, like I said, I will kind of show you how it is that this goes. Why don't you just show me how to do it? Turn this <laughs> chisel off and then I'll pretend like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Ready? I'm doing a fantastic job. <laughs> <laughs> that door handle all wrapped up. Like a pro, look at that, like a professional installer. Love it. Look at that. Now the, no, it turned out, <laughs> turned out it works, functions right? Functions properly. The door now opens and shuts. A little clumsy going through it, but it works in the end. We're gonna leave the deadbolt up to Jeremy. <laughs> uh, the reason that we're going with a deadbolt system only and a non-locking bottom handle is because we have children. Children love to lock the door and close it behind them. So I don't want to be locked out in the middle of winter without keys and all of that. So we're going to go with the deadbolt only that way the kids can't lock us out. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Our door installed, I am now going around and taking these little plastic plugs that they give you and I am covering up the factory scruples. Doing it. Alright, we got our doingy on, we got our insulation up at the top. It's officially called a doingy in this house. So, now what we're going to do is trim the inside of the door so that it looks all nice and neat and then I will get it painted.
right here, that was my mom. It was just <laughs> like that. And that's me, right? Mm -hmm. And a heart. Oh, is it a heart? Oh, thanks, buddy. I love it. And daddy hanging up? What color should I use? Blue? Okay, kids are playing, as you can hear, so it is time to get the door and the trim all painted up. 